Hey, and welcome to my game room. Uh, I've been collecting for about five years now, and there are about 1,500 video games in my collection to date. Uh, everything that I've gotten has uh, resulted from yard sales on Saturday mornings and uh, thrift store pickups, along with some eBay purchases and just local Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji, which is our Craigslist here in Canada. Uh, I hope we do more videos like this in the future and maybe even a game room tour to show you around. But for today, um, I wanted to go through and video document what is basically my biggest pickup to date. If you follow uh, YouTubers on uh, online and watch them talk about how they get their games, a lot of times they'll say that you should ask the question, do you have any more video games? Well, I've been living by that for five years and this is easily my biggest pickup to date from using that uh, question. Uh, I had a guy locally um, offering up this, a uh, little Mario Pixel Pal. Uh, I sent him a message, went to his house, picked it up for 10 bucks, thought it was a great score. Kind of kept my eyes on his listing on Facebook Marketplace and saw that he posted probably was one of the cleanest Nintendo 2DSs complete in box. Uh, this has got like all the baggies, the wrappers, the manuals, and it looks like it's basically never been used. He said he bought two of them and this one never came out of the box. Um, it kind of seemed like he was selling off his whole collection. So I asked him, are you interested in getting rid of anything else? And what you see on the table in front of you and more is the result of asking that question. So I'm really stoked to go through it all today with you and, uh, and check it all out. Okay, I'm gonna start with the disc-based stuff first and then kind of work my way into the older stuff because cartridge-based things, as you can see, are a lot harder to find. Um, I don't actively look for things like NES uh, it is my childhood console, but I'm just not as excited to collect for it as I am for things like N64. Um, so I'm going to go through the CD-based stuff first, and then I'll work my way into the other stuff. Oh, um, this uh, game haul came with a massive uh, stack of uh, manuals, uh, uh, basically game guides. And I'll go through those, but I'm not going to put up prices for them. I will put up prices for the other stuff. So here are some of the manuals that came from this score. Tony Hawk Underground 2 and Tony Hawk Underground 1. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. This one is a Final Fantasy 12 guide. Really beautiful Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess uh, HD uh, collection manual. It's really, really nice. That one's probably the nicest one in the whole lot. Grand Theft Auto, the original one. Scarface, World is Yours. We have Bully. Almost all of these manuals have the accompanying game too. Manhunt 2. Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories. Tony Hawk, Project 8. Hitman, Blood Money. I got Injustice Gods Among Us. Lego City Undercover, why someone buys a manual for this game, I will never know. Uh, Disney Epic Mickey Power of Two. And also, you know what, I hadn't seen this one. This is a really gorgeous Assassin's Creed's manual, hardcover also. And it is for, oh, looks like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So a really nice manual for that one. Okay, so those are the manual pickups. No prices for those, but I'll probably add them to my collection. I have a bunch of manuals already that I found at yard sales. It's not something that I really actively look for, but when I find them, I'm happy to add them to the collection. I'm gonna move to Xbox 360 next. So I've got, again, this is the one that came with the, the, the uh, game guide. So Injustice, Gods Among, Among Us, complete. Crackdown, Dead or Alive Extreme 2, it's probably one of the more valuable ones that came in this pickup for Xbox 360, Forza Motorsports 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, I have some of these in my collection already but they're great case upgrades for games that I have right now that have a beat up case so I'll go through and, uh, and take some of these cases to replace mine. Big Air Edition of Stoked, Don King Prize Fighter. Farming Simulator 15, Farming Simulator, this is uh, the Godfather 2, but it's just the disc. Uh, I have the, I 
know why people mark up discs like that, but I uh, might not be working off the test that went out. Automedius Excellent. I have a copy of that already, and it's cut on the back, too. Leisure Suit Larry, box office bust. Forza Horizon 2. The Witcher 2. Snoopy's Grand Adventure. Grand Theft Auto 5. Lego Jurassic World. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I just picked this one up actually, Project Silphied. And a really nice collector's edition of Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. So pretty happy to grab those up. I primarily collect for Xbox over PlayStation, unless it's a PlayStation exclusive, in which case I'll buy it. But um, anything that's a double that would exist in both the Xbox and uh, PlayStation platforms, I'll collect for on Xbox. All right, uh, on that note, I'll go right into, oh, there's one, oh, I had a memory card for the Xbox 360, oh, and one OG Xbox game, and it's a complete copy of The Godfather. Okay, um, PlayStation 2, moving right along, and there's a lot of them. So, one that I was on my list, actually two that were on my list to find, I'm really happy to add these. I have, so this is Manhunt 1 and Manhunt 2. I have Manhunt 2 already on the Wii, but uh, I'll be happy to add this version of it as well, because the Wii versions are often, they play a little bit differently than the other consoles. This is uh, Dark Cloud 2, I own this already, uh, manual and disc, but it's got a photocopied um, cover art. I thought this would be worth a lot more, State of Emergency. It's complete also, but it's kind of a, I guess it's a more common game. No One Lives Forever, Sierra title. Agent Under Fire, 007. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. These PlayStation 2 games are ridiculously clean for the most part. This is probably the ugliest one. There's no manual for Dead to Rights, a Namco title. But uh, all the others are minty, minty, minty fresh discs. And in really good condition. Siphon Filter. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Grand Theft Auto 3. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Final Fantasy 12. Happy to actually, no, I, I have that one already, I think, but I'm happy to add this one. Harvest Moon, Save the Homeland. No manual for that one. It's really a bummer. A lot of the ones that I don't have that are a little more unique, like Harvest Moon, they don't have the manuals in them. ATV Off-Road Fury 2. ATV Off-Road Fury. This is one that I've never seen before. Mark Echo is getting up. Looks like kind of a spray paint graffiti game. Could be cool. Original Just Cause. Scarface. Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. Rock Band, really clean copy. Rock Band, really nice. If you, if you pick up guitars at yard sales, it's really nice to have clean copies of that to bundle with guitars. Uh, PlayStation 2, obviously, Cars. <laughs> And uh, Need for Speed Underground 2, which I have on the GameCube already, but um, I probably will end up just selling that one. All right, another full stack of PlayStation 2. MX Unleashed. This one's probably in one of the ones that's in rougher shape. To go with those manuals, Tony Hawk Underground and Tony Hawk Underground 2. Tony Hawk Project 8. Arguably my favorite game on the PlayStation 2, Guitar Hero 2. Twisted Metal Black, I have a copy of this already, but it's in really rough shape. And um, the cover art is cut all the way down the center, so happy to have a better copy of that. No manual though. Uh, Jam Pack Demo Disc Volume 10. This is one that I'm really stoked to add to my collection. I've been hearing amazing things about it. And I'm anxious to try it out, Bully. Probably my most expensive PlayStation uh, pickup, and it's complete. It's Playboy the Mansion. Uh, Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly, Greatest Hits. Splashdown, Rides Gone Wild. I want to check that one out. That looks kind of interesting, actually. Uh, oh, this is Conflict Vietnam, but someone has drawn a swastika on the manual, so I'm probably going to be throwing that out. 
<laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Deer Hunter. Not really big into these hunting games. Driver Parallel Lines. I own that on the Wii already, but uh, I'm happy again to check out the PlayStation version of that. Could be cool. Driver 3 might be the cleanest game in the whole lot. PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits of Hit and Run. Hitman 2. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. F1 2001. Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry, Magna Cum Laude. I actually found this at a thrift store last year, so that's my extra copy now. <laughs> LA Rush. The Getaway, such an underrated game. I never hear people talking about it. I don't know which one I own. I think I owned Black Monday uh, when I was in high school. This one's super clean. This one's missing the manual, but uh, that's an awesome game. Kind of like a more structured Grand Theft Auto mission-based, really cool. Oh, and probably something that I'm, even though it's not as expensive as I thought it was, really happy to pick up complete is Persona 3. That's one that was also on my list to pick up, and so um, I'm happy to add that to my PlayStation games. Okay, oh, and last but not least, uh, Hitman Trilogy, and that's uh, Contracts, Silent Assassin, and Blood Money, and these are in really nice shape. I feel like there's something missing from this because there's some space left. So maybe there's a manual or something that was meant to go in there. Maybe you can let me know in the comments if I'm missing something to make that complete. All right, that's all the PlayStation 2. Here we go. There's lots to get through. This might have to be a two-part video because there's a ton of games here. Uh, all right, I'm going to go right into PlayStation 1. So Gran Turismo, um, this is a ugh, greatest hits copy. I think we're missing the first disc, but the second one's in there. Jet Moto 2, I have this already. It's missing the back artwork. But I don't know what it is about PlayStation 1 games, but like, I, who pulls the, the back out of that? Uh, this is weird. I need also someone to tell me if this is the way this comes packed. I looked for it on eBay and I couldn't find it. It's loaded, uh, loaded and reloaded, but they're packed in backwards. So I think someone just took one of these double pack CD cases and loaded them in there, but it's they're nice copies. Reloaded, never heard of these before actually, and loaded. I was an N64 kid, not a PlayStation 1 kid, so I've never heard of those titles. Just straight old racing. Twisted Metal 2, Twisted Metal 3, no manual for that one. Twisted Metal 4, again, back missing on that one too. It's a shame. Driver. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. My copy of this, I didn't realize, but the disc is a burnt CD in an authentic case for my copy, so that's an upgrade for me. I have these already, but Grand Theft Auto 2. I have the collector's editions. Army Men Gold, so it's a triple pack collector's edition of Army Men 3D, Army Men Air Attack, and Army Men Sarge's Heroes. I'm probably going to keep that despite the fact that I already have Air Combat, Sarge's Heroes, and Sarge's Hero 2 on N64, but probably gonna throw those in the collection anyway. Missing the manual and back, it's just the loose disc, Test Drive 6. Not big on just loose discs for PlayStation 1, I don't really keep them, but... Simpsons Wrestling, should be a good one. The Die Hard Trilogy, I will absolutely play that one. ATV Mania. Driver 2, and this one is missing, oh, it's not missing anything. Complete, greatest hits. Gran Turismo 2. This one also is missing the first disc, unfortunately. I think I have that already, though. World's Scariest Police Chases. Loose disc of Cool Borders 3. Ha really happy to have these. I remember playing these way back on PC. Tomb Raider, the first one. I don't own these, so I'm happy for that one. And I believe... I thought there was Tomb Raider 2 in there. Oh, there is, yeah. Tomb Raider 2. This one's disc only. A lot of these had little papers in them. Yeah, level skip. NTSC version. Have Lara perform the following actions while playing the game. Someone took the time to type those out and add them to their games. But I like keeping stuff like that with my copies of the games. It's kind of cool. 
A Bug's Life, Greatest Hits. I have this already on the N64, I believe. Tarzan, same story. I have that already on the N64. Rayman, first one. My wife will be happy that I picked that one up. Toy Story 2. Pac-Man World, as if I don't already own enough Pac-Man games. And the very first Medal of Honor. All right. That's it for PlayStation 1. I don't find a lot of PlayStation 1. I've probably only got about 40 in my collection, so I'm happy to add to that always. Um, let's do the last of the disc-based stuff. So this is gonna be a kind of a mix of, um, oh, I'm sorry, before I get to that, there were uh, also a loose uh, kind of binder of PS1 games. Only really ones of note are probably uh, Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey. I'll have to find a price for that because I didn't actually price these ones out. There's Dukes of Hazards, uh, or Dukes of Hazard, I mean, and uh, Pitfall 3D, Tony Hawk game in there. Nothing too exciting. All right. So you can find cases for those. So let's start with the Wii because it's probably the least of it. We've got Mario Kart Wii, always good to have another copy of that when I can bundle it with um, any Wiis that I'm reselling. Dragon Quest Swords, I think I have, yeah, I have that already, but that's probably could be an upgrade for me. Uh, Acne Arsenal, probably not gonna keep that. No manual. Link's Crossbow Training, that I have already. And this one I was really, really excited to pick up. Uh, this was on my uh, list of stuff to find and uh, I'm really happy to pick it up. Pr a pretty pricey game for the Nintendo Wii, and that's Last Story. Really excited to find that one. That's been on my list of games to find for a long time now, so the fact that that just randomly popped up in this game lot is pretty exciting. Um, I'm going for a complete Wii U collection. I think I have about 70 games, and there's definitely some extras in here. Nintendo Land, really fun game. Have that one already. New pickup for me, Planes. I needed this too, and it's a little bit pricey. NES Remix Pack. Guitar Hero Live. I don't have this either. Hyrule Warriors, probably one of the pricier titles. Another new one, uh, New Super Luigi U. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. New Super Mario Brothers Wii U. Uh, I didn't have this either. Uh, Zelda Twilight Princess HD, really happy to add that. Here's the game that goes with that awesome manual, Lego uh, City Undercover. And another great one that I can bundle with a console that I'm reselling, uh, new Super Mario Bros for the Wii. So some good pickups for the Wii, nothing too crazy, but happy to add them. And then GameCube, which uh, GameCube has been outrageously expensive for the last while now. It's not a console that I grew up with, but it's definitely one that I'm happy to get as many games as I can for and I will take any game that I can find to add to my collection for GameCube. So some of this is gonna be new, and some of it uh, is repeat, but that's great. Um, again, missing the manual, but I don't have it. Another Wonderful Life, it's a Harvest Moon game. Metroid Prime, I have already. Super Mario Sunshine, another that I already own. Star Fox Adventures, same deal. Mario Party 7, complete. That's actually a pretty pricey game right now. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Wario World. This is probably a cleaner copy than mine. These Crash games I didn't have any of, so they're all new for me. Crash Bandicoot and the Wrath of Cortex. Crash Nitro Kart. Crash Tag Team Racing. Uh, we've got Namco Museum 50th Anniversary. And Sonic Riders, which I believe I already have. So some really nice GameCube pickups. Um, all right, we're finally into the cartridge-based stuff. I'm going to go for the Sega stuff first. I actually bought this entire lot from a guy, and uh, the guy that I bought it from, I bought it over the course of a couple days. I had originally seen his loose Sega Genesis stuff, and then he messaged me saying he had a bunch of boxes and asked me if I wanted them. And I said, yes, I want them. Um, he included this Genesis uh, with the original power brick and aftermarket cables. Um, it's pretty clean, but he said that he couldn't get it working. I'm happy to have it, even if it's just for the extra shell. So he threw that in for free. We'll go through the loose stuff first. 
This is uh, Tiny Toon Buster's Hidden Treasure. Jurassic Park. I think I already have Jurassic Park. Uh, Warriors of the Eternal Sun. Oh, that's a Dungeons and Dragons game. Aladdin. Cutthroat Island. Uh, Tasmania. This is a, a Sega Mega Drive game, but it's Sonic 3D. Revenge of Shinobi. World Series Baseball. I think I have that one already. And a couple of these odd sized ones. Lotus Turbo Challenge. And Shadow of the Beast. There are a whole bunch of GBA games in the same box. I'll go through those next. Take you through. I'll take you through this box stuff first. A lot of these have manuals and are complete. This one looks really cool. Beware of the ultimate. Beware the ultimate evil of Warlock. Looks really cool. Stoked to have this one. Streets of Rage. It does come with. No, dumb. It doesn't come with a manual. All the ones I'm excited to add to my collection don't have manuals, but I do not have Streets of Rage. I've been playing a little bit of Streets of Rage 4 on the Nintendo Switch, and that is a fun game. So excited to try out the original one. Bugs Bunny in Double Trouble. Super Monaco GP. The Jungle Book. Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. I've seen playthroughs of this on YouTube, so I'm excited to try it out. And that is Wild Wild Quest. It's a Chester Cheeto game. Or Chest Chester Cheetah. Fantastic Dizzy. I'm also excited to try this one out. And another one that looks really cool. It's got like a really neat claymation sort of cover. The Lost Vikings. Uh, but it looks like it could be maybe a 2D platformer. So that's everything for Genesis. I do not find Sega Genesis off often. This is probably doubling my uh, complete in box collection and the loose stuff where's my loose stuff is probably also doubling my loose stuff so this is just basically doubled my genesis collection so that's pretty exciting uh this gba stuff is great i love collecting for the gba and the reason why i like collecting for it is because i make these really cool well, i think they're really cool custom cases i make them out of ds cases um and i print my own artwork and the gba game sits in the provided slot some of the cases have that extra slot to add the GBA, GBA case to, um, a cartridge to. So um, I love working on those. I love collecting for it. Some people think that they're really hard to store, um, but if you have spare DS cases, a lot of times people are throwing away dollar games and uh, you can get those spare cases. So here's a bunch of editions, some of them pretty pricey. This is Matchbox. It's a double pack of Airland, Sea and Rescue and Emergency Response. Uh, F24 Stealth Fighter. Smuggler's Run, MX 2002. Uh, let's go through some of the cheaper ones first. Well, Driver 3 is actually a little bit pricey. Uh, Sega Smash Pack, ATV Quad Power Racing, Sword of Mana. I'm excited to add that one to the collection. That seems like it could be a really cool RPG title. Uh, Need for Speed Underground 2. The fact that they even managed to get these onto GBA carts and have them at all playables is pretty cool. Uh, Monster Trucks and Quad Desert Fury bundled into the same pack. Uh, Arrow the Acrobat. That's a neat uh, NES or Super NES title that they put onto the GBA. It's a GBA version. Uh, I'm going to leave a few of these to the end, unfortunately. Uh, Lizzie McGuire. Wow. Great pickup. Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, the Simpsons, Simpsons Road Rage. Oh, this one, I'm, the label's a little rough, but I don't care. I'm so happy to have this. Metroid Fusion. A rough copy of what I think is Driver 2, but someone wrote Driver 5 on it. Flintstones, Big Trouble uh, in Bedrock. Looney Tunes, Double Pack, Dizzy Driving, and Acme Antics. Sigma Star. Saga. I'm actually really excited to have that one too. And then these ones I've kind of been pushing aside towards the end. Uh, and they are basically, I think, all of the Final Fantasy games on the GBA. So this is one and two label list. I just ordered a label for it. Um, I'll, I usually put a little sticker on the back to indicate that the label is a repro label, but I'll, I'll get a replacement label on that. Final Fantasy uh, 6 Advance. Uh, 
Final Fantasy IV Advance, and Final Fantasy V Advance. Some pretty pricey GBA games that I'm happy to pick up. Um, I collect all my GBA stuff loose, so sometimes you can get them a lot cheaper and they're pretty cool to have. Uh, I'm gonna work my way back again uh, into N64. Uh, pretty excited to grab this. It's another, probably the only other game collection that I'm going for complete of um, is the Wii U and the N64. I don't know if you can see my shelves, but these four shelves here are built to hold just the N64 collection. So when those four shelves are full with just the loose cartridges, um, they'll have the complete collection. I store all my N64 stuff in little plastic cases and I put the end labels on the outside uh, rather than putting the end label on the cartridge. I just like the way it looks and they store really nice. So uh, definitely some new pickups here and some repeats, but also a few cartridge upgrades for me. Tetris Sphere, Vigilante 8, NHL 99, I must have picked up 10 of these of NHL 99 in the years, uh, GTA 64, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire, complete in box, ready to rumble boxing, uh, it's actually not completely complete, it does not have a manual. Um, so I do keep the boxes. I have probably about 12 boxes and I put them in a hard plastic shell just to kind of protect them a little bit. These boxes are in pretty good shape. No manual, but ready to rumble boxing. And Hybrid Heaven, I did not have the box. I have a better looking cartridge than this one, but uh, this one's also missing the manual. Cool game, Hybrid Heaven. Cruising USA. This is a label upgrade for me of Super Mario 64. South Park. Excite Bike, Mario Tennis, probably the one that I'm most excited to pick up because I don't own it. Someone scratched Erica into it, but Pokemon Stadium 2, I, I don't mind that kind of stuff. A little bit of label damage is cool. That just gives it some character. So, uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, another one that I don't have. I actually remember renting this as a kid and it was uh, terrible. So, yeah, probably have to try that one out again. Okay, I'm gonna leave this on the edge and we'll move on. He also threw in this random uh, DS. It's really clean, but it's missing the power switch because he took it out to fix uh, some other DS that he had so you could resell it. But um, I'm gonna keep it for parts. He threw it in for free, so why not? Here we go. This entire bin is NES stuff and my NES collection, as you can see, is probably about 20, 25 games. So I'm doubling, if not tripling, um, my collection right off the bat. Um, excited to grab a lot of this stuff. It's not stuff that I find often ever. It's also not stuff I really go after. Um, so to find it out in the wild like this is awesome. I'm really happy to have it. A few of the boxes, uh, a few of the games came with boxes and manuals. This one's in really rough shape, but it's Swords and Serpents. That game is right here. A lot of these have the dust sleep as well, which I'm happy to have. And also another box one was Krusty's Fun House. And that one is here. All right, we have just a random manual for Caesar's Palace. And let's get into it. Kid Icarus. The Legend of Zelda. Super Mario 3. Super Mario 2. Here's just a clean vanilla Super Mario Bros. No Duck Hunt. And two copies with the Duck Hunt. <laughs> We've got Tiny Toon Adventures. This is probably the most valuable game in the box, I think, uh, Motor City Patrol. I hear that's like kind of like an early GTA, so I'm excited to try that one out. The Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout. Back to the Future, part two and three. Adventures of Bayou Billy. Wizards and Warriors, which apparently belong to David, David Ebel. Uh, Legacy of the Wizard. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Monopoly, 
Captain Skyhawk. Fax Xanadu. Install discs for Grand Theft Auto that must be burnt. And a list of games that I think are on this knockoff 100 and or knockoff. It's just a weird reproduction or I don't even know. 110 games. It also came with this weird 31 and 1. Don't know anything about it. Mickey Mousecapade. American Gladiators. Days of Thunder. Knight Rider. Teenage Mutant Turtles 2, the arcade game. That's a cool one. Deadly Towers. Dick Tracy. Probably not going to pronounce this right, but it's Arkista's Ring. It's weird, no label on the back of that one. Uh, Blades of Steel, that's a label upgrade for me. Spy Hunter. Excited to try this because I've never played any Castlevania games, but this is Simon's Quest Castlevania 2. Wayne Gretzky Hockey. Here's that copy of uh, Caesar's Palace with the manual. Jaws. This is one that I already have, actually, the Goonies 2. I think. Yeah, same one. Robocop. Baseball, The Little Mermaid, Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, and we're getting right down to it. So this is Star Tropics, one that I'm actually really excited to try out, Willow, the original Final Fantasy, that should be a really cool one to add, I think it's one of the pricier ones that I picked up. Dragon Warrior. Uh, this is Ninja Gaiden 2. I played uh, the first when I was a kid like crazy, and it was one of the few games that I owned, so I've never tried that one. Adventure Island. Rad Racer and Rad Racer 2. Gauntlet. Gorilla War. Heard terrible things about this one. Fester's Quest. Ghostbusters. Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge. And actually a repeat for me of a great game, Mega Man 3. Okay, that's the NES stuff. There's one box left and it's all Super Nintendo stuff. This is probably gonna double my Super Nintendo collection. I love collecting for the Super Nintendo. It holds up so well. I keep my Hyperkin uh, Super Retron HD plugged in to this flat screen all the time, and it's nice to be able to pick up any Super Nintendo game out of my collection and just drop it in. So um, adding these to my collection is just, like I'm beyond stoked to pick up this volume of Super Nintendo stuff all at once. Uh, Nubunga's Ambition. Never heard of this game. Pro Sport Hockey. Home Alone. Goof Troop. One that I'm really excited to... I've actually been watching videos on this, uh, and I've been hoping to pick it up. This is Flashback. It looks like a really interesting kind of platformer game. Nigel Manson's World Championship. Alright, here we go. Animaniacs, UN Squadron, this is a label upgrade for me. My copy is in really rough shape, so I'm happy to pick up a better copy of that. Robocop 3, Daffy Duck, The Marvin Missions. Probably the most expensive pickup in this lot is Street Fighter Alpha 2. Excited to pick this one up too, Fatal Fury 2. Two copies of Wings 2 Aces High. I don't own this game, so I'll just take the best of those two and resell the other. Judge Dread. Double Dragon 5. Scooby Doo Mystery. This one I'm really excited to check out. Super Ninja Boy. Looks like it could be a cool game. Illusion of Gaia. I have this game already, so that's actually a really nice one to be able to resell because it's got some good value. Final Fantasy 3, really excited to pick that up. 
I also already own Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, but always nice to have copies of those kicking around. I don't own Donkey Kong Country 3, so I'm happy to add that. Donkey, Donkey Kong Country, which I have already. A pretty rough Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. I own that, so that's fine. Super Mario World. Cool Spot, another one that looks really interesting that I'm excited to add to the collection. Um, the Adams Family. Road Runners, Death Valley Rally. Lester, The Unlikely. Miss Pac-Man. This one I had to check out. I'll put some video footage in here of me checking it out. Our labelless game is Arrow the Acrobat 2. So yeah, Arrow the Acrobat 2. I'll get it a replacement label for this too. Again, I'll sticker it so that if I ever do sell it later on, I know that it's a repro label. I have some already that are like that. And uh, my copy of Battletoads and Double Dragon was um, authentic but missing a label. So I've got a repro label on there and I've got to add a little sticker to it to make note that it's uh, been reprinted. Tom and Jerry. And the very last game, one that I played as a kid, Prince of Persia. There it is, over 200 games. I think it's over 250 games. I'll put the number in the video of exactly how many it was in this whole pickup. Um, I'm pretty sure that the dollar value per game was right around $2, 250, I think Canadian. Uh, there'll be some conversions to do because all of the prices in this video were in US dollars. I just happened to punch it in that way on price charting. So uh, I'll switch it, the total value back over to Canadian. Um, so it was $700 invested in everything, and it included this Amiibo. <laughs> uh, $700 for everything, and uh, I'll, I'll put the total value of what I found for price charting value um, as of the making of this video somewhere in the video. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed checking out uh, the collection. It was a really great deal and super uh, a super good score and a really memorable one. So thanks for checking it out with me.